So you're moving to Broward County and the greater Fort Lauderdale area and Coconut Creek might just be a great fit for you and your family. So if you want to know what it's like to live here in Coconut Creek, Florida, please stick around. What's up everybody and welcome to my channel living in Fort Lauderdale. Now if you've been here before welcome back and if this is your first time here on the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below and tap the little bell icon to be notified anytime I go ahead and make a new video. I put out weekly videos and content about what it's like to live and play down here in South Florida but more than that guys I'm a licensed real estate agent and absolutely love to help people with their real estate needs. So if that is you and you have any questions at all about South Florida and real estate or any of the neighborhoods that we talk about in these videos my information is popping up down below you can contact me by phone by text you can send me an email or a comment I'm open 24 7 and absolutely cannot wait to hear from you so without further ado let's jump right into the video Okay gang, let's jump right into it. And again, we're in the great neighborhood or city of Coconut Creek, Florida. And what would be some of the reasons you might wanna to move to this great neighborhood? Well, the city of Coconut Creek, which is also called the butterfly capital of the world, has been voted one of the best cities in America to live in by uh, Money Magazine. It was also voted a top 10 place to live in all of Florida by NerdWallet and Mavoto. Now the city of Coconut Creek has a population of around 61,000 people and it's a very, very diverse neighborhood with a thriving business community. So before we get into it, let's just get a lay of the land really to see where Coconut Creek is located. So Coconut Creek is located in Northern Broward County. Um, so you're closer to uh, Palm Beach, maybe about 10, 15 minutes from the, uh, the border of Palm Beach, about an hour from Miami and kind of central and a little bit north uh, from the center of Broward County or Greater Fort Lauderdale. So as far as your uh, transportation needs, you have a lot of uh, very convenient highways. You have the Sawgrass Expressway, which goes east and west. You have the Turnpike, which is very close on I-95 that goes north and south, giving you easy access to Miami and also to Palm Beach. So really, uh, no matter what you want to do here in South Florida or anywhere internationally, um, you're maybe 20 minutes from the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, probably about 40 minutes from Palm Beach International Airport and about an hour, a little bit over an hour to Miami International Airport. So uh, again, no matter what you want to do here locally, as far as traveling and seeing the sites or traveling internationally, you're pretty much in a great location in uh, Coconut Creek. So again, traveling anywhere here locally or internationally will not be a problem by living in Coconut Creek. Now, one of the reasons why people really like Coconut Creek, and these are in no particular order, is that there's a, a wide array of neighborhoods to choose from and a lot of different housing options. Now, as far as your real estate estate and housing options go, your condos in Coconut Creek range anywhere from about $70,000 up to about $335,000. There's a lot of different uh, well-known communities. But Winmore Village uh, is one that pops out right off the top of my head. It's a 55 and over community and uh, we're actually placing a client in there right now. Now the community of Winmore Village is pretty spectacular. There's 5,200 uh, units total here in the development. There's also a 50,000 square foot clubhouse, uh, golf courses. They have a really huge I think it holds about a thousand people um, an amphitheater and, and really just tons and tons of other amenities available for the people that live in the community now as far as townhomes and villa throughout the city of Coconut Creek they range in price from about two hundred thousand to about four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and single-family homes throughout the city range in price from about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars to just shy of one million dollars and as I've mentioned earlier the city of Coconut Creek has a wide array of neighborhoods available uh, some without um, homeowners associations. Now they do have some with and a lot um, of communities that are gated and very, very sought after throughout the city. Now, some of the most popular neighborhoods um, throughout the city from people that we've worked with are um, Winston Park, Regency Lakes, Banyan Trails, Cocoa Bay, and a bunch of other ones as well. Now, another reason why people are really, really drawn to the city of Coconut Creek is the overall cost of living. So the overall cost of living uh, throughout Coconut Creek comes in at 100 point 
0.1, which is right at the national average. Um, the national average is right at a baseline of 100. Now really everything or every city throughout Broward County or the greater Fort Lauderdale, when it comes to the cost of living and we're talking about, you know, utilities and transportation and groceries, everything is pretty much the same. But the biggest determining factor in the number or the overall uh, cost of living number is the housing. So the median home cost for a property here in Coconut Creek is about $178,000. And this brings the overall cost of living throughout the city to 77, around 77.3, which is way below the national average of 100. So this really goes back to my first point about the different um, you know, options and the wide array of neighborhoods and different neighborhoods that you have. Even though you have a lot of really, really beautiful gated communities, very well landscaped uh, throughout Coconut Creek that are very, very popular, uh, there are a lot of other affordable options uh, as far as townhomes, condos, and also um, single family homes that are not in gated communities. So it really balances itself out through the overall cost of living. So this is really why the city is very popular because people can find almost anything as far as their real estate needs are concerned. Now, another huge reason why the, uh, the city of Coconut Creek is so popular uh, in Broward County among people that are looking to move here is the endless activities that are available to you. Now overall throughout the entire city of Coconut Creek there's um, over 160 athletic fields and about 14 acres of greenways. Now the city has I think 18 parks total and these include um, numerous um, soccer fields and baseball fields and softball fields, basketball courts, any type of park and athletic you can think of you can find throughout the uh, city of Coconut Creek. Now one of the most popular destinations here in Coconut Creek has to be Tradewinds Park. Now in Tradewinds Park you can enjoy horseback riding, there's fitness centers, uh, they have fishing, you can ride a model steam train, and also it's the home of the world famous Butterfly World. Now from what I'm told Butterfly World is the largest uh, butterfly park in the entire world and it's home to over 20,000 different species of uh, butterflies from all over the world. Let's take a quick look at some of these beautiful butterflies right now. Now another uh, very, very popular destination for activities is Coconut Creek uh, Seminole Casino. Now the Seminole Casino here in Coconut Creek has over 2,000 uh, slot machines, over 70 live table games. It also has uh, three different nightclubs on site. Uh, they have live music performances. And let's not forget, they offer world-class dining here at the Seminole Casino in Coconut Creek. And this is gonna bring me to my next thing about Coconut Creek that people absolutely love, and that is incredible dining and shopping. Now, one place I absolutely love here in Coconut Creek is called the Promenade. Now here in the Promenade, they have some incredible uh, small restaurants and food. Now, these are not like these big chain restaurants, but really, really small, uh, intimate boutique style uh, restaurants. Now, one place I definitely recommend you check out is called Cooper's Hawk. 
Um, now this place is like a, a retail shop slash restaurant. Um, they also have a wine tasting room. Very, very unique and very, very cool. Now Saito's uh, Japanese Steakhouse is uh, really cool, as well as Etho's uh, Greek Bistro. And again, these are all smaller, more intimate restaurants, but they're absolutely incredible. I definitely recommend you check them out. Now the Promenade is also very, very popular for shopping. They have over 36 uh, different stores and boutique shops, including Brighton's Collectibles, Chico's, Diva's Bliss, the Guitar Center, and it's also the home of the truly unique Silver Spot Cinema. Now the Silver Spot Cinema is really a luxury uh, movie theater that features a combination of first run blockbuster films, 3D films, uh, foreign films, indie films, and they're all presented with state of the art technology and sound. Now each theater here in the Silver Spot Cinemas has a stadium uh, style seating. So they're very, very big, um, you know, comfortable leather seats. And this place also includes a high-end restaurant, bar and lounge. So really the whole uh, point of this place is where you can go out and have a dinner and movie all in one spot. Very, very cool, very unique. I definitely think you should check out the Silver Spot Cinema right here in Coconut Creek. So there you have it guys. Just some of the reasons uh, from people that I have been helping lately that are choosing Coconut Creek as their destination when moving moving down here to Broward County and the greater Fort Lauderdale area. And speaking of moving to Coconut Creek or anywhere down here in South Florida, we would absolutely love to help you with all your real estate needs and helping you find that perfect place you might want to move to or just go see that perfect area you might be thinking of. But again, in order to do that, you got to reach out. So my information is popping up down again below. You can reach me by phone, text, contact me, however you like to communicate. I am open 24 seven and just cannot wait to hear from you. And until the next video, guys, I'll catch you later. And thanks for watching.